In 2023, there are so many different ways you can make money online. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five different ways you can make money in 2023 with absolutely zero startup cost. And one of these methods in particular, I personally had used for a couple of years that would generate me over $30,000 a month in sales. And it is perfect for this video because you could start right now with absolutely no upfront cost. So for number one, we're gonna start off with this method I've just alluded to, and this is an Instagram method linked with Shopify dropshipping. Now, I'm sure a lot of you either have Shopify dropshipping stores or you've had some in the past and they may not have worked because you've been unable to get Facebook ads to work, unable to get Google ads to work, and you just ended up spending an absolute ton of money to see no results, which of course is very discouraging. So you've probably shut down your store, not wanting to try ever again. But this particular method will allow you to generate traffic and potentially sales as well for your Shopify store. And this is a method I used between 2018 and 2020 that would generate me about 20 to 30 thousand dollars a month with absolutely zero expense now obviously you guys can start a Shopify store for free you know you get a 14 day free trial and odds are you'll probably get at least one sale or you'll make enough money to pay for your first month of Shopify by the time your 14 day trial is up now what this method is is an Instagram outreach method linked with your website and what you basically have to do is either comment on people's pictures or private message people on Instagram. Yes, it sounds very spammy, but this does 100% work. I use this a lot when I had a lot of free time myself, but because my days are a lot busier now and because I'm making the most of paid ads to scale my businesses, it's not something I use anymore, but it's a great way to catapult your business into you know the multi five figure range on a monthly basis. Now, the niche I did this with was women's clothing. And what I would basically do, I'm just on my phone here, you can see the screen recording fashion over is a great example you want to go on a big instagram page that is linked with your target audience so fashion over is obviously linked with the women's clothing niche say if you had a gym clothing business you could go on gymshark and things like that and what you want to do is head over to their tagged post section which is this fourth box on the right here and this will give you just a feed of entire posts where people have tagged that brand in their picture so basically these are all customers of fashion nova and all customers of the women's clothing niche and what you want to do and I'll show you a couple of pictures at random because I guarantee there are already people doing this so if we go on this picture here for example and you click uh, comments yep you can see at least this first comment here it says message us we would love to collab with you and what this company is basically doing firstly it probably is a drop shipping company but what they're basically doing they'll offer this person a discount code or something to purchase on their website and in return they will give this Instagram user this lady here they will give her a discount code for their website it's kind of like an affiliate marketing thing and they might say something like for every five times your discount code is used we will give you a free item of clothing or a $50 gift voucher for our website or you may even decide to pay them a percentage of the sales they get you and what this is essentially doing is bringing in customers to your business that are then going to do marketing for you by promoting their discount code on their social channels like Instagram even TikTok okay I'm just on this other post here just as another quick example just scroll down the the comments again that same company here has posted another one here you know they're asking this person to be an ambassador and this is all it essentially is it is a long graft I used to do this literally six to eight hours a day non-stop yes you're going to get limited by Instagram with the amount of comments you can post I honestly had about 30 Instagram accounts going at once I don't know what their algorithms like anymore how many comments you can post in a day without getting banned or limited or whatever they used to call it but you can do comments and DMs as well so you need to make your offer incentivizing enough for these people to place an order on your website because they're not only going to get the product they've purchased but you're giving them an opportunity to earn some rewards like I said a free item gift vouchers or commission and they do this by promoting the unique discount code you're giving them to their followers on their page as well it's very easy to keep on top of overall this is a great way to get free traffic free sales and also grow your social media pages you can do this on Instagram you can do this on TikTok but like I said five years ago when I used to do this TikTok wasn't a thing. So experiment, you can do it across all social channels and it is definitely a great way to start your Shopify business. Okay, now next up, number two is Facebook Marketplace and 
I'm going to give this part in two sections here. Obviously, the start, you're going to want to look at the free stuff section on Facebook Marketplace. You can do this on your phone, computer, whatever you want. The left hand side, there will be a free stuff section. You can do this locally, you can do this nationally. You may as well do the free stuff locally because people won't probably post these items out to you. They'll just want them collected. So, anywhere close to you, you can filter the radius down. But good examples here you've got office furniture here, a desk free to collect from this place here. All you can then do is go and pick up this desk. Granted, if you've got a car or transportation, obviously there are other items you can collect where you probably don't need these big vehicles. But let's take this desk for example. You can collect this, pay absolutely no money for it, and probably flip it on Facebook Marketplace again or eBay for 50 quid, easy money. Now, it might be quite hard to get hold of some of these items because they are free and there's probably going to be a lot of people hitting up these sellers. So you want to be quick on it. You want to keep refreshing the feed, seeing what is coming up in your local area. And once you do this a handful of times, you'll have a bit of cash to play around with. So then you can start purchasing items from Facebook Marketplace and either relisting them again on Facebook or on other marketplaces like eBay. A prime example and the reason I'm putting this in this video is I was looking for a Disney Cars play set for my three-year-old that was discontinued. So you can't buy it brand new. Like I said, it's sold out everywhere. And the only way you can get hold of it is through places like Facebook and eBay where people are selling theirs. And the place set in question is this racetrack thing. Very cool. I didn't actually end up getting it because the people I'd messaged saying they'd already sold it. So there was a lot of demand for this particular item. But anyway, you can see you can get them on Facebook for about 20 quid. 15 pounds is something slightly different, but the average price for this particular thing is anywhere from about 20 to 25 pounds. Now, the reason I'm including this is because these are selling for double the price on eBay. And that is probably the same with a lot of other items as well. And just to show you this one here, you can see it went on bid for 66 pounds. Uh, you can see it's the exact same item here. And that is just absolutely bonkers. So I'm glad I stumbled across this because it is a great example of how you can buy items locally, pick them up and flip flip them online for double if not triple what you have paid for them. Yes, this isn't extremely scalable, but if you've not got a lot of cash to play around with and you are just sort of starting off in the online business world, this is a great method to get you started. So start with the free stuff section, flip a few free items if you can get hold of them, and then turn your focus to paid items and then sell them on other marketplaces for a higher markup, exactly like this item here. You can buy for 20 quid on Facebook and people are buying it for anywhere from 40 to up to 70 pounds on eBay. Now, number Number three is going to be an agency of some kind. Now, I am in the space of online marketing agencies, particularly a Google Ads agency. I do have my own Google Ads agency, so if you do need help with Google Ads, just drop me a message on Twitter or Instagram. But this particular method is to do with social media management and growth, something that's a little bit easier and doesn't require too much time and skill necessarily to get started. Now, as you know, in this day and age, many people's desire is to be famous on social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. People want the following, people want the high numbers and people will pay a price for that. So I've seen friends of mine with social media growth agencies and what they basically do is they'll hire these clients on social media, Instagram influencers, etc., and they will pay the agency a monthly fee, usually around the $500 a month mark, depending on the size of the page and the person, but it can be less. And what they do is they schedule their posting schedule across their social channels, so Instagram, TikTok, etc. They plan content ideas for them as well. So many of these influencers are struggling to create content that is going to help grow their pages. And once you have experience in this space, growing a few pages and keeping on top of social trends, you will know what to offer these clients of yours to help grow their pages and essentially do what they're paying you to do. Now, again, similar to the first one, this can be quite a time consuming process getting hold of your clients because people on Instagram are probably receiving a lot of messages on a daily basis with service offerings like this. So you need to stand out with your cold DMs, your cold emails. But again, this is a good stepping stone to earn you a few hundred dollars a month per client. I'm sure there are complete full guides out there on YouTube with regards to exactly how to set a social 
media management agency up. It's just something I came across again recently. That's why I'm putting it in this video. Again, zero startup cost, just a bit of time to get the ball rolling. And at the moment, the issue with the online space is a lot of people make it sound easy to start any form of online business. And I can assure you that is not the case. If you want something to work long term, provide you with a consistent income, it's going to take a lot of hours, a lot of hard graft. And that's not just for this particular point here. That goes with anything. So to stand out from the rest, to beat your competition, if you put in that hard work, you will succeed. So yeah, if this particular idea appeals to you, there's probably a million videos out there on how to launch your social media growth agency or management agency. It's not a field I have particular experience in, but like I said, I've spoken to people and been around people that have their own social media management agencies and are doing very well for themselves. Okay, number four is gonna be offering digital services and that can be on platforms like Fiverr or simple cold outreach through email, Instagram, etc. Now I've noted down here that it is free to learn on YouTube how to essentially master a skill. You don't need to go and do a four year university degree to learn Photoshop, to learn Final Cut Pro, copywriting, things like that. If you're disciplined enough, you can find all the information you need online to at least become moderately successful with it and have a good knowledge on this particular area, whether it is video editing, graphic design, copywriting, or any other thing in the online space. And in particular, building Shopify stores. Now, many business owners are always looking to open a website for whatever business they have. It might be a physical store that now wants to move online, someone wanting to set up a exercise website if they're a personal trainer to offer their services online as well. There are a million and one examples and these people think that making a website is incredibly difficult. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are you have already built a Shopify store at some point in your life and these business owners will pay a lot of money for you to make them a Shopify store and it doesn't have to be extremely fancy with all the gadgets on it. All they're looking for is a simple website to display their products or services on it and you'll find people on Fiverr offering their services to do this. So what you can go and do is make Fiverr listings of these services you can offer, whether that is website design, video editing, graphic design, copywriting. Yes, it might take some time for you to get interest on these listings and whilst you're waiting for the momentum to build up on a platform like Fiverr, you could go ahead and start outreaching via cold emails, cold DMs to potential clients for video editing and website builds and things like that. And the reason I am including this is because that is exactly how my video editor landed his role basically with me. He sent me a cold email, a very engaging email, and now he is responsible for editing all of my videos you now see on the channel, including this one. But it wasn't just a simple email he offered. He offered me some value. So he essentially reached out. He offered me a free 30 second video edit to prove his worth, to prove his skills. I was very pleased with the result. The turnaround time was extremely quick on this free edit as well. And we had a quick Zoom call. And after that, I hired him. And like I said, he's now responsible for all of the videos you see. And all of this started through a simple cold email he sent to my business email. And that right there is simple proof that it does in fact work. And like I said, this can be used for all other services as well. Example, again, if you're offering a website building service for Shopify stores, you might go around and offer people in your local area a website. You can find websites online in a particular niche that might look like they're very outdated and need updating and you can reach out to them and again, offer them your services. Okay, number five is something everyone is talking about at the moment and that is AI. Now, this is an extremely broad subject for this particular video, but I'm just gonna throw in some examples on how I'm currently using AI for my businesses. So for me, email marketing is something I'm using AI for. And an example is Clavio's built-in subject line AI generator I use for pretty much every email campaign I send out. You give them a few prompt keywords like the product name, whether it's a sale or not, hit generate and it will give you ideas for your email subject line. And 95% of the time I use their suggestions because they're very good. Now, whilst AI is very good at reducing time spent on tasks you don't find interesting like long Shopify descriptions and things like that you shouldn't just rely on AI to run your business completely for example chat GPT is very good at crafting high quality product descriptions we've all seen that with other people's videos over the last couple of months but to improve on that and stand out from the people that are using these features take that description it's given you add it onto your store but add your own twist to it by adding high quality product images gifts a branded theme throughout the description as well is very very helpful so AI 
is a great stepping stone and a great almost template to use to build certain areas of your business on. So what I've mentioned there is how it's helping me and other people with their existing businesses. But in terms of starting something with no cost, you can use things like ChatGPT to generate you business ideas and business plans. It sounds bonkers we're even saying things like that, but it is truly that powerful and it could be the difference between a bad idea and a good idea. Say if you've got an idea in your head and you're not sure, you can go on ChatGPT, ask it to give you some business ideas and you might see one in there that just clicks and you might think to yourself, that is the one I'm going to pursue. It can help you with things like brand names, catchphrases, slogans, you know, video scripts if you want to start a YouTube channel and earn money through that. You can use AI to help you with things I've mentioned in this video, such as the social media management. You can use AI to generate captions for your clients, Instagram posts and things like that. Even asking it for ideas for content as well. You know, you can even use it for LinkedIn posts as well that look professional, which is another great way of getting clients for certain businesses. So overall, the possibilities with AI are endless and I'm sure over the coming months, we'll see even more proof that the use of AI really can generate stupid amounts of money for a variety of business types online. So those are five ways you can make money right now in 2023 with absolutely zero startup costs. I may do a part two to this where I give five more ideas, but they're not zero startup costs. You know, they're not going to be expensive, but you might need 100 or $200 or so to get going. So if you want to see that, please drop a comment down below. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. And finally, I have got an e-commerce Discord server linked in the description. So I would recommend joining that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.